Okay, so in my last video I showed you how to grab all the end engine extension files into Eclipse, and now I'm going to grab the end engine sample files, show you how to work with those. I just want to note that in my last video I forgot to show you that you need to grab the augmented reality extension and the live wallpaper extension. So if you don't have those yet, make sure you grab those in the same fashion as you grabbed the other extensions in my last video. Alright, I'm going to grab the sample files now. We're going to file, import, mercurial clone, next, and type https code.google.com slash p slash and engine examples and click next. And this takes about a full minute so I'm just going to pause the video for a sec. Okay and I'm going to click next and then finish. And I've got the sample files here now. But they are a mercurial clone right now and I want to create a local copy of these because I want to make a few modifications to them in order to get them to work properly with the emulator in Eclipse. So I'm going to go to the Eclipse workspace and go to the end engine examples and select all the files but I don't want HG, I don't want HG ignore because those are related to the Mercurial clone and I don't need those. So I'm going to hit control C to make a copy and create a new folder. And you can name this folder whatever you want. Paste the items in there. Okay. And so I'm going to remove the Mercurial clone of the examples from here. And I'm going to import my local copy. file import I don't want the mercurial I'm going to go to the top general existing projects and find my local copy of the and engine uh, sample files in my Eclipse workspace folder so I've got the local copy now and you'll note that it comes with its own copy of the extensions but we want to use our copy of the extensions because they're the most recent so in order to get rid of these uh, prepackaged extensions properly. You need to modify the default properties file. And you can see that there's several lines of code here that reference grabbing the uh, those extensions. So I'm going to remove this, save the file, And I want to make sure that any traces of the extensions are removed, so I want to remove this one as well. And make sure that there's no mention of them in the gen folder. So this looks good, it's only the examples file within here. If there's anything else besides this in here, you want to delete the other items that would be inside this gen folder. So now we have to link all these extensions to our project. So I'm going to right click, choose build path, link source and I'm going to browse in my workspace for the extensions and I have to go through each extension individually so I'm going to start with the augmented reality extension and I have to locate the source fo folder within each of them You'll see a little warning because you need to rename this folder name to anything else. It just cannot be uh, source. So you can give it any name you want. Click finish. And you see we've grabbed that extension. Now it's linked to the extension that's down here. You see there's a little error on it though. Um, that's because we still haven't imported the main and engine extension. Uh, which I'll, I'll grab that one next and then you'll see this error will go away. So build path link source, browse, and I'm in the Eclipse workspace, and go to just and engine. That's the main uh, extension. So I'm going to grab the source of that, and again you have to rename it. And then you give it any name you'd like. 
And I brought that in. And error go away now because I have that in there. We still have errors in our example files all the way through. Uh, several errors. But those will all go away once we get all the extension files in. So I'm going to continue to import the rest of these extension files. Link source, browse for the next one. And each time I'm grabbing the source file. Now we don't need the live wallpaper extension this time. Uh, so I'm going to skip to the next one. But you need all the other extensions. Grab the source file, rename it. And so you can see I've grabbed a bunch of these already at this point. I've got one more to grab. And once I grab the last extension, then these errors will go away. You can see that there's one away now because we have all the extensions linked into the project. So at this point we could actually launch the project into the emulator. However, at this point the boxy sample samples will not work because we have one more thing to do in order to get the box 2D samples to work. Um, we need to go to the internet to this URL and we have to grab an SO file. So I'm just going to highlight this. And that brings us to this page. If you look at the August 18th date and expand it, you want to choose the, the second link here. And you want to choose the last link on this page, which shows this SO file that we want. So I'll click on this. And then you choose Show Details over on the right. And we have View Raw File. If we right click on that, choose Save Target As. We want to save this SO file uh, to our workspace. I'm just going to hit save. And now if I go to our Eclipse workspace, we have this SO file that we need in order to get the box 2D samples to work. However, we need to place this in a specific folder. So you need to create a new folder called libs with an S at the end. And then in there, you want to create an extra folder and it must be named R sorry it's A R M E A B I and that's where we need to place that SO file. So I'm going to grab this SO file and put it in here. So now we want to grab this libs folder, do a control C, copy it, go back to our project and paste that into our project. So we have the libs folder now and we have this SO file. That's going to make the box 2D samples run fine in the emulator. So at this point I can right click on the project and I can do a run as but just make sure that you've already set up an AVD emulator. You can click this little icon up here. Make sure you've got some AVD emulators set up. I found that the default settings work fine. Uh, you can click new, enter new name for one, and uh, choose Android 2.1 API level 7 and leave everything else at default and hit create AVD and that should work good for these samples. I already have some set up so I don't have to worry about that. So I can just go ahead and right click on the project, choose run as Android application. Now we've got the emulator here. And we've got the samples working fine on the emulator. So we can try some of these out, like the touch sample. You can see that it works fine. 
you want to flip your emulator horizontally, you can just hit Control F12, and you've got a horizontal emulator. I found though that on my laptop, I really need to hit Function and the number seven in order to put in landscape mode. But anyways, you can see that the samples work, and also if I go down to the physics samples, they work as well. And that's how you get the AND engine samples working.